the best Spam Musubi you have ever tasted was born and raised in Hawaii. It is so loved. It has crossed the oceans and is enjoyed in so many places around the world. Because Hawaii is an international destination, the cuisine here is a delicious infusion of flavors from every culture. In Hawaii, when something is so yummy, we say it's ono. Today, multiple generations later, we now say it's onolicious. Spam musubi is onolicious, and you can learn to make this easy, delicious snack. Today, all the ingredients and directions, what you need to know are in the description below. Spam musubis are an island staple. They're just so easy to take along and eat anywhere. You don't need plates, you don't need utensils, you don't even need napkins. And they're perfect to sneak into the movie theater. They are really Ono hanging out at the beach. My mom makes them all the time for our family. They are perfect for breakfast, lunch, or just an afternoon snack, and maybe dinner too. When I was little, my mom would make them by hand. But when I was a teenager, she got her first Spam Musubi maker, which only made one at a time. When I got my own place, she bought me a Musubi maker that does two at a time. And that really sped things up. If you want to make them for a lot of people really quick, you can just use a baking sheet, a couple of them, and smush your rice together. Plop on your Spam, cut it out, and put it, wrap it up in your nori. Super easy. Um, and you can even make them in any size. I often see Spam Musubis at parties because they are just the perfect poo-poo or appetizer, um, especially at a potluck party. A smaller bite size is perfect because you don't want to fill up on a lot of rice. I like to add a teriyaki glaze over my rice. It just adds another flavor dimension. That balance of salty, sweet, and umami savory. This is why everyone loves Spam Musubi. So go make some and share it with everybody that you love. After you master the Spam Musubi, why not try other popular Hawaii versions? One of my favorites is Mochiko Chicken Musubi. It's just substituting for the Spam. And you can substitute anything pretty much. Um, hot dogs, sausage. I would just cut them lengthwise so that you have a flat side to sit on your rice. Fish. Fried tofu would be like a vegetarian option. Even egg. A scrambled egg would be really good. Um, pretty much anything that tastes delicious with rice would be perfect. Spam bees are really easy to make with children. Um, it's really great for people who are just learning how to cook. In fact, a Spam Musubi kit would be a really nice gift for college students. Oh, they're really good for after school, sport teams, and athletics. They're great for fundraisers, all kinds of things. If you want to hear about Hawaii food, travel, and more, please join me at MyTaisAtSunset.com, where my best friend Ty and I share our funny life adventures and all the yummy things that we love. I look forward to seeing you. And until we meet again, ahoy ho!